Hey guys, it's Karen. I, um, oh, I'm exhausted. I'm doing a vlog today. I'm going to talk about, um, some stands that I got. Plus I wanted to, I've finally started to reorganize my messy craft room. Um, you see my dog out there. She's afraid to come in here because I've moved things. I'm going to give you some real pictures now of how bad this room has gotten. Okay. So I've already, I'm going to buy an L shaped desk. So to prepare for that, um, to prepare for that, I've rearranged some shelves in here into an L shape and I'm going to clean all of these off and organize them so that when I buy the L shaped desk, I can just plug it in. But I want you guys to see the challenge I'm up against. Um, when my grandmother died, a lot of the stuff that I inherited, boxes and stuff, got put up here. Um, and I've been ill. And so I'm going to pan over here. Look at this. Look at this! So, everything got pushed to that side of the room. Um, I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of things and I have been living on this tiny corner this half of the room now and as you can see I've made I've had to pile stuff up to get around um there's my air conditioner I've put my shelves here here's my xbox set up because I play a lot of video games all of this in the next few weeks I'm going to try to clear off and um it's fall break for my kid for the next two days so we're going to try to make a couple runs to Goodwill to get rid of some stuff I have so much crafting stuff, so much yarn in my stash, so much, I mean, I, oh, it's just disgusting. I can't anymore. I can't even get to, this is where my bead table is, over there. I can't even bead anymore. So this is one box, this is one pile of yarn that I created. So basically I want to just like, I'm not doing any knitting or crocheting right now. I used to do a lot it, it is just, and it's, <laughs> I have so much. So I want to get a bunch of cr um, crates and I want to put all the yarn in there. And then um, <clears throat> I'm going to donate a lot of it. Uh, I don't have like a lot of, um, I don't have a lot of, um, I have a lot of acrylic yarn and a lot of old donated, given to me like from, <laughs> you know, old scratchy acrylic yarns. And it was fine because I made a lot of toys. Uh, but I'm, I want to obviously, I don't have room for that kind of stuff anymore. Look at this. That pillow up there was one that my dog chewed and I was going to sew and fix. Uh, that box up there, this box here, that's full of stuff to go to Goodwill. I've got empty crates that I can use to put stuff in to take to Goodwill. There's the Chihuahua. She's still scared to come in here. There's her second bed that needs to be put on the floor. But like I said, I just moved everything. So the other thing I want to show you guys is that I received a package today. Um, but before that, before I can show you that, I have to clear off. So I had to pile everything on my desk to be able to move stuff around. Um, I'm going to clean this off to make a little bit of room so that I can actually un I can unpackage this thing and show you what it is. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, so... This is, I put these shelves up here because I want to put my um, Blythe dolls here. Uh, and I, because I bought, um, these three are stock dolls. That Okay, these here and these here are all stock dolls. And because I only bought Odette and Sailor, Sea Sailor Sea uh, in box, they're the only two that have um, stands. So I needed, and then I have some fakies. So I needed to get stands for these guys, but I didn't just want to get, <clears throat> I didn't want to get, I could get them off of Ali AliExpress, but uh, for cheap. They look exactly like the regular Bly stands, but I don't actually like the Bly stands that come with the Blys because they always fall over. So I thought, hey, what if, I try Marna and Darren stands from the Dolls Rescue channel, and that is what came today. Uh, so I went to their website and and then contacted them and purchased some stands. So I'm going to open up the package now. 
sorry. I'm going to open up the package now and take a look at them. Um, they, I, you know, I've seen them use the stands and they're pretty awesome. And, um, I also wanted to support them and give them a shout out. And I'm sorry, I'm looking for my scissors again. But the reason I was like interested in Darren stands is because they seem to have a wider base than the ones that the Blythes come on. Um, and since these girls always fall over, hopefully I'm not cutting into anything in there. Um, the other good thing about having my table this way is that once I clean some of that up, I can stick my uh, tripod over there and then hopefully film better without my hand all over the darn place. So, but you guys look, do you see my pain? Do you see how difficult my life is? Oh my God. All right, so what do we have here? We have a little, a little card or note and something wrapped up. And the stands it looks like. So I'm very excited, I've been waiting. And um, I'm really excited to finally get these girls dressed and up on stands and not knocking around my office since they are expensive dolls. Um, and this is not, this is all temporary. All right. This is, this is just, like I said, I'm trying to get, I want to actually get a real, a real, this desk is fine, but it's too small for me. We're going to give it to my kid. The drawer doesn't want to stay shut anymore. And, um, it's got legs that are at an angle, so it doesn't sit flush up against the wall. In this position, that doesn't matter anymore, but um, and you can see we even have stuff in the hallway. It's just a mess in this house. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to get a, a new stand and then I have, I have room in the corner back here, but this wall gets really hot. This is why I have to have this air conditioning unit and I didn't want to store any dolls. This is the hottest part of the room and it's not good for them. So I needed them to be on this side of the room. Um, so, um, but yeah, I do want to get like real shelves to put them on, but we also have this sloped ceiling as you can see. So it makes storage really hard. So, um, yeah. So anyway, it's a, <laughs> please don't judge. I'm just sharing the struggle, the struggle in their messy craft room and on the messy desk is real. And, um, we just have a very small house and we've got too much stuff And this year. We're trying really hard to declutter and get rid of like all the crap that we don't need. Um, oh, did you come up to say to see the room too? It's pretty scary, huh? Yeah, it's very scary. So, I mean, we've got stuff in it packed in every room of this house. It's, it's really too tiny for us. So, um, but we can't get a new house, so we got to get rid of stuff. So, all right, I'm going to open all this up and then I will show you what I got. Okay. Okay. So I use the widest, um, attachment that they sent me. You can see that it, this is on the stock dolls with their or original bodies. You can see how the stand comes up back here. Um, and look, I mean, I have to shake her pretty hard for her to fall out. Um, which is much better. Like I even move the other ones. I breathe on the other stands and they fall over because look how nice and wide the base is. So, um, it'll take up more room on the shelf, but, um, I don't want these guys taking a head dive off my desk, you know, or off the shelf. And um, now that they'll be up here, I can see which ones I want to dress and what I need to make dresses for. Here's one with a dress that I made, one of the earlier dresses I made, um, and it fits. Yep. So this is exciting, you guys. All right, I'm going to get them all put together and get all of the girls standing up. I'll be right back. And lastly, as far as the stands go, um, I do want to talk about some more stuff about them because they're so cool. But look, you guys, look what Marna and Darren included. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas stands that they made. So I am extremely happy with these. Um, you can see I've got the girls standing up here. I need to not have them all. I can probably should only put four to a shelf because they're all squished together. Um, so the only thing about the stands, and this isn't the stands fault, my fakey blouse, this was the very first one I got. Well, technically this was the very first one I got, but what the frick? Where's her foot? Uh-oh, her foot's gone. I don't even know where it is in this mess. I'll have to look for it. Um, that sucks. I hope she's not broken. 
like I hope I can just find this foot and put, pop it back on but um this doll was the first one I got very first Blythe and she's a fakie uh her name is Charlotte and this is Cassandra or Cassie this girl's named Hope she was the one I customized for the um uh, Dolls Gone Goth, very first one. I'm not going to, I want to get these dolls off of here and stuff, but I need to get more shelves in other places in this room for now. And then, I'll, again, this is all very temporary. This is just so I have somewhere to look at my dolls uh, while I'm working um, on the Messy Desk vlog. And I wanted to also mention a couple more things. So I got some custom eyes for this fakey Blythe that I had bought. You remember when I bought her? I bought two pairs of black eye chips so I could have one front facing and one side facing. Do you hear that? Um, I just popped them in without any glue and one of them fell out. So I need to open her head back out up and I took off the eyelashes. Remember that were defective. I like her so much better with these black eyes, but I need to fix. She's not done. She has no eyelashes. Her eyes aren't in the right position. I broke something. So I need to get a cord and make sleepy eyes. Her replacement body came and it fits nicely in Marna's stand. Um, the only thing is that it still has the little chunks on the top of the legs mitching, which was the problem with the other one. So now I'm wondering if this is just a defect in the production or if these are just the seller that I had so much trouble with, had a bad batch. So I might try a different seller and try to get another one of these bodies. They're like 10 bucks, not a big deal. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it and I'm gonna get her dressed. I'm gonna fix her face. I mean, fix her fix her eyes and put her head back on her body. I'm excited to finally get her finished up because I just love her so much. Here's some more messy desk vlog news. This is the third time I've made this shirt and I'm still having a problem with the back. Uh, I'm not happy with the way, like before I offer it to anybody else, I wanna figure out a way that it works perfectly no matter who makes it. Um, but the top part fits absolutely wonderfully. I'm very happy with the top and the sleeves. I'm just not happy and I'm happy with the front panel of the bodice. It's just this part here because her behind, she's wearing curvy, curvy Barbie pants, by the way, they're a little loose on her. Um, the way that it closes, it does close, but it's, she needs more, her bum, she just, she needs more room in her bum and then she's got such a tiny waist. So I'm just trying to figure something out on that. So I'm not hundred percent sure that I'm done with that. I mean, I'm not done with that, but I'm working on it. Um, I've been working on that. And then also, okay, this thing, holy crap. This is a Barbie body. This is a Chinese Barbie from 2008 or something. I do not have Mr. Super Clear, nor am I interested in getting Mr. Super Clear. I also didn't have any like um, Liquitex seal, like varnish or anything yet. So I just like went in to see what it would, and I only have red, black, and white paint. So I was curious to see, I've never painted a doll's face before. I have an error right there. I need to put white. So actually I drew her eyes with like ballpoint pen. Uh, yeah, this doll is never going to, I think her, she's probably permanently stained, but again, she was just a, um, she was just a cheap clone for, that I just had around the house. Um, and this body is like made of the lightest plastic and it's completely, anyway, so I was thinking of trying to do this doll for the witch challenge that's coming up. Um, I created some yarn wefts. I'm trying to, you know, I don't know if she's going to get finished. Um, I don't like her body. Sabrina, whatever you're eating, stop. I made some yarn wefts with some yarn, as you know, from the room that I've shown you, I have no shortage of yarn and, um, I really don't like doing this. The yarn got into my mouth. It got into my nose. You use a lot of waste. I suppose I could, I could have saved a bag of it for like stuffing, but I don't know. Um, so, and I think I found my tacky glue in a box over there with some extra fabric I didn't even know I had from a couple years ago. So, hey, I hope it's not like, I hope it's actually still liquid and I can use it to glue some hair on her. This is, this is not high level art here by any stretch, but, uh, you know, for just testing it out, I think it, I think it came up pretty good when she has hair and stuff. And 
I just, this body is just not right for a witch, but what are you going to do? I was thinking of like cutting her limbs off and then positioning them into, and her body into a more hunched over shape with some hot glue. I don't know if that will work. Um, so if she doesn't get made, if this doesn't work, then I have something else to show you guys for the witch challenge, but I did want to, uh, try to get this done. But anyway, I mean, the wefts look pretty for like an old hag, uh, crone type lady. Um, so, I mean, they look good. It's just, uh, I just feel like it's so wasteful to when you have to, I mean, if you've seen people make these before you, you lose like half of the, half of the fiber, um, per weft. So, um, but it's soft and stuff, but I just don't know how like this would work once it's on the doll. It would be very hard to keep brushed and they like come apart and, um, I don't know if I'm going to just glue them straight onto the doll or if I need, if I'm going to be adventurous and try to make a wig cap of some sort. It depends on the glue I have. And I, I do want to mention one more thing in this vlog since it, we got a vlog going on here. So this doll, um, oh, I wanted to say two things. One, um, it was really hard getting the acetone, getting, I have a hundred, I bought a hundred percent pure acetone. And let me tell you that stuff still in this, back in the eighties, early eighties and the seventies, when I was like a teenager and a preteen, I painted, I used to paint my nails and we had a hundred percent acetone just lying around as our nail polish remover. And now there's so many warnings on the freaking bottle. Um, but it really was hard to get the eyes off, to get the makeup off of this doll. And when I see people use hundred percent pure acetone, it just comes woof right off. So I want to take the, I want to do it on this doll. As you know, I want to customize her and I'm, I'm wondering how, if anybody has any experience, how hard is it to get the makeup off? I just want to take off like her eye makeup and her cheeks. I want to leave her lips and I want to touch those and I don't want to touch her eyebrows. And I just ordered a wig for her cause I'm going to cut her hair off and I didn't feel like rerouting her. So I ordered a brown wig. It was, pretty, it was more expensive than the doll itself. Cause I bought this doll for $16. So, um, I'm a little like sticker shy about that, but, um, I think she'll look really pretty in it if it works. But if not, you know, it's a wig. I can put it on other dolls down the line. So, all right. I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Um, oh, except if you guys, the stands did not want to hold up my fakey blides. And again, that was not the stands fault the, these dolls are so loose. They just flop down. So if you guys have any tips on how to display weak a zone bodies um they can sit on the shelves it's fine they're cute like that but if you have any um tips on keeping a zone bodies from falling over in their stands please let me know in the in the comments and i want to say thank you again to marna and darren for um for these awesome stands and um they're really gonna i think they're really gonna solve my problem and i'm so happy i'll be able to finally stand my girls up and um yeah, so if you guys are in the market from stands for stands, I highly recommend them over at Dolls Rescued. And um, I'll see you guys soon because we're working on that challenge for this weekend. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.